Hi everyone, Mrs. McBain here. Today we are going to be learning about writing division expressions. Now I'm sure you're reading that and looking at that and thinking, well, I already know how to write a division problem. Well, if you've made it this far in math, you definitely know how to write a division problem. But today we're going to be learning how to write them in a little bit of a different way and how to think about them in a little bit of a different way. As you may have heard me say before, when you see a symbol, like let me get my pen here and we'll draw it and we'll see one over two. So that does not always mean that that is a fraction. That might actually mean something a little different. All right, so let me go ahead and pull up our worksheet today. We'll take a look and I'll show you just what I mean. Okay, so here it comes. Okay, so problem number one says the quotient of M and 11, the quotient. Now quotient, that's just another way of saying divide. So the quotient of M and 11. This is a really easy one for us to do. So let's go ahead and take a look here. So the quotient of M and 11 means that we are going to be dividing M and 11. So we're gonna have M over 11. Now the, pro the program that I'm using here, which is Jamboard, it will not allow me to draw a proper division problem or a proper fraction, so just bear with me. So we've got our M here, our 11 here, and I'm just gonna put a, a wavy line in between them, okay? So that's how you would draw, write that one out as an expression. Okay, so there we have the quotient of M and 11. All right, and so let's take a look at our second one here. This one is three divided by four, okay? And so just like we did before, we're not going to use the division symbol. We're actually going to use um, the line that we typically see when we are writing a fraction. So three divided by four. So we'll put our three on top and our four on the bottom. All right, so then we have our three divided by four. Now there's actually a special name um, for the numbers that are on top and the numbers that are on the bottom when we are looking at a problem like this. Okay, so when we're looking at this, this top one here is called a dividend, a dividend, and the bottom one is the divider. So even up here we have M is our dividend and 11 is our divisor. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at question three. So this is the quantity. Let's see, it says the quantity of A minus three divided by B. Okay, so the quantity of A minus three divided by B. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look and see how we're going to fix that or how we're going to answer that. So the quantity of a, so we've got our letter A, minus three, okay, and then we're going to be dividing it by B, okay. So let's go ahead and we'll put the B as close as we can in the middle there. So that problem is going to look like this, okay. So that means that up here on top where we have the, th the A minus three, that is going to be our dividend. So that's right there, A minus three. Now, of course, without knowing what the value of A is, we can't completely solve A minus three. So that's why we're going to leave it looking like that, A minus three. And then we have that over B, which is our divisor. So A minus three over B, and that is our quantity of A minus, of A minus three divided by B. Okay. All right. Last one. Let's take a look. Okay, so our last one says four divided by the sum of y and seven. Four divided by the sum of y and seven. Okay, so since it's four divided by, we're gonna put our four on top. So I'll put that right there. And then let's see, four divided by the sum of y and seven. So the sum, remember, is to add. So y plus seven. Let's go ahead and move that four over a little bit. There we go. Okay. So now it's going to look like this. Okay, so now we have our four divided by, so that's our number up on top. Remember anytime we hear a number and then divided by, that's going to be our dividend. So that's our number that goes on top. 
So four divided by y plus seven, or the sum of y and seven. All right, so it looks like that was a super easy one for today. If you have any questions, go ahead and post them in the comments. There is a link also in the description that will take you to a free Teachers Pay Teachers worksheet on the same thing. All right, I hope you have a great day.